guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my first Halloween look of the year. A very easy makeup look where you're just bleeding out of all holes of your face. <laughs> Super simple and easy to do. I thought we'd go ahead and start this off this way so that if you guys are new to makeup, new to Halloween makeup, it's very easy to do. Pair it with pretty much any costume. Uh, you can use affordable makeup products and yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I know you guys are very excited about Halloween, so am I. Comment down below what you're going to be for Halloween because I'm still looking for inspiration and enjoy this tutorial. Let's get into it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just start off with the base. Go ahead and use whatever primer and foundation you like the most. I'm just using a little bit of my Fenty Beauty. I do already have my brows filled in. I'm going to go ahead and just throw on a quick layer of foundation, just a little bit of my Hourglass foundation stick. If you're going to be out at a Halloween party or something. Make sure you use something that will last you all night. I do have a cold, so pardon my lack of energy. I'm trying, honey, I'm trying. For the base of this, um, it's kind of going to be a very standard base, like how you would normally do your skin for an everyday glam look. You know, we're going to go ahead and just contour, blush, highlight, the usual. It's really going to be about creating the bloody look coming out of the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the ears. Um, basically just playing around with that. But do your skin however you feel comfortable. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom through how I normally do my skin because it's going to be pretty standard. Okay, so once you have your face just complete, I'd say start with like eyebrows and skin. Um, it's Like I said, it's mostly about all of the holes on our face that we're going to be going crazy with. So um, I did buy some blood gel just from Amazon. It's from the brand Kangaroo here. Um, cool. I wanted to use a lot of red tones, so I'm going to be using a lot of the shades from the Naked Heat palette. A lot of these darker kind of bloody tones, a lot of creepiness around the eyes. Then of course we will use um, some black. I have the black shade from Makeup Geek called Corrupt. And you know, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and just prime my lids with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. We wanna make sure all of this stays on all night if you have a party and we just want it to blend really nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the eyes. It's kind of fun to just have like a really pretty base on the skin and just know we're going to mess it all up. So I'm kind of going to start with black on the lid and then work out to red and then we'll incorporate the blood afterwards. We'll put a little bit of red in the waterline, make it look like we're really bleeding out of our eyes. <laughs> oh, love Halloween. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a standard shader brush here and I'm going to go ahead and work with Black Corrupt from Makeup Geek. And we're just going to go ahead and pack that on the lid to start. The great thing about Halloween makeup for looks like this, it's very imperfect, so don't worry about anything being absolutely perfect, because we ain't trying to look pretty, boo-boo. Well, I do want this to kind of be like a pretty ugly look. <laughs> uh, I have very small eyes, so I'm just kind of bringing it right to about my crease, since my eyes are hooded, just to about here. Just using the same brush, I'm going to go ahead and start to incorporate Cayenne and Fuego and Ashes, these three shades here from um, Naked Heat. So I'm just going to dip in, starting with the darkest shade and going right above that. And then taking the next lightest to darkest shade and then the lightest Cayenne. And I'm going to just kind of build them kind of like a rainbow and then go ahead and just take a blending brush and kind of just lightly soften the edges. Did I say this was a Halloween look? We're just doing my usual Saturday night look. Again, don't worry too much about fallout. Um, we don't want this to be perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the tip of that eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of the warm red tones. Just start to work it under the eye. Kind of connect it to the side here. You can kind of drag it out a little bit. I'm just going to create like a light little 
triangle and just keep softening it just so it looks very lived in we are kind of like a zombie makeup artist I don't even know what I'm gonna call this look I just want it to be very bloody <laughs> I never know what to call these cuz it's just a fun time you know it's just bleeding everywhere that's what the titles will be facial bleeding tutorial <laughs> Um, basically, I just want to keep kind of blending everything. I just went ahead and enhanced my brows a little bit. I'm going to take a tiny bit of concealer and just conceal under the brow just to kind of keep it a little bit sharp. Um, I don't want it to look, you know, like the brows are just blending into the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go ahead in with He Devil, which is this red tone right in the middle here. It's very classic red. And I'm going to work that under the eyes as well, just because we are going to be placing blood under here. And I just want it to look really, really scary. And I'm just going to kind of blend that under the eye so it kind of almost looks bruised. And it blends evenly into the skin, so we're kind of starting to affect the skin texture, the look of it. Just so we're very bruised. I'd say we look dead now, right? <laughs> I'm going to slap on a pair of eyelashes. These are from Venus. They're not from Venus. They are called a Venus from Coco Lashes. I'm just going to throw these on. All right, so we have our lashes on. So I actually don't have a red eyeliner. Surprising, I know. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a very delicate, uh, clean brush. And I'm just going to take some more of the He Devil shade that we used for eyeshadow. And you can just lightly apply that to your waterline if you're comfortable with it just to give that really spooky red look. It does help to kind of intensify. So I'm going to do the blood last. I'm going to go ahead and take the blending brush that I have been using and I'm just going to take some of He Devil and Cayenne and because we're going to be bleeding out of every area I just want to kind of add some redness around the nose. We almost want everything to look kind of bruised. <clears throat> Don't inhale this, kids. And I'm just going to kind of circle the nostrils slightly around the edges. This palette's perfect for Halloween. I'm going to leave that for now, and we're just going to go ahead and work on the lips now. Okay, my phone just vibrated and scared the shit out of me. I'm going to prime my lips with the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. So I'm going to be starting with MAC Ruby Woo. I essentially want it to kind of look really dark on the inside and kind of blend out like kind of opposite of a classic ombre look so it's a little bit more eerie so we're just going to start by applying um, a little bit of Ruby Woo in the center actually I'm going to go ahead and just do my full lips normal imperfectly of course and we're going to just kind of work with this and soften it blend it so make sure you're using some sort of lipstick um, that's not going to dry super quickly and you can have some room to work with I'm going to take a little bit of boyfriend stealer from MAC this is actually a cream sheen, so that'll help kind of keep the colors a little bit loose. I'm going to apply that in the center. I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Ashes here. Work it in the center. And then taking a lighter shade like He Devil. I'm going to start to blend outward. I want it to kind of drizzle out on the face. I'm going to take a clean brush, actually, because I don't want... I don't want it to get dark out there. Just gonna kind of smudge it. I like this look because it almost disappears your lip lines. It's kind of where are your lips? Where do they begin? Where do they end? I'm just gonna take a little bit of Ruby Woo on that same brush. Just to make sure the color is kind of staying alive. And I'm gonna go ahead and take some black right in the center now. Make sure we're keeping it very, very dark in the middle. And if you feel like you went a little bit too heavy handed with the lips, you can just take a little bit of concealer, which I'm going to do. I feel like I got a little out of hand in some areas. Alright, now that we are horrifying, we're going to go ahead and add our fake blood. What are the rules? There's directions. No. Avoid contact with clothing. <laughs> As I wear a white t-shirt. So to use the blood I'm going to take a couple of q-tips and be extremely careful. And we're just going to slowly start to work the blood everywhere that we're bleeding from. 
creepy. We're so creepy. Blood, blood, blood. So, trying to plan my best areas here. I can't decide if I want it to be smeared as well. I'm kind of just winging it. I think I want it to be going down. Just using the end of an eyeliner brush, I'm just going to kind of drag it so it's a little thinner. Kind of streaming down a little bit softer at the ends. I really can't decide if I want to smear it. <laughs> I feel like I want to smear it. I feel like I just want to drag my hands across my face, but you know, if that doesn't look good, then <laughs> it's over. Um, should I just do it? Should I do it? Oh! Yellow. Bad? This red is going to stain my entire world. Alright, I think we should do the ear too, just to get the full effect. I really wanted it to be like bleeding out of everywhere for this look. So let's do the ear. <clears throat> of course, if you're going to do this for a costume, I would recommend doing both ears. <laughs> so again, I'm just going to start to build those colors around the ear so it looks kind of bruised just around the eardrum. Building the darkest colors in the center and then softening on the outer edges. It's a very simple just to add the ears, so you may as well. Um, just that little bit of bruising and the blood. The blood is really thick. I was hoping it would be a bit more uh, liquidy so I could kind of get it to run naturally. I guess I could try to water it down. Because it looks a little less realistic when it's kind of not naturally dripping. So here's what the final look looks like. Bleeding everywhere. You could kind of even wear um, your hair down and bobby pin it to the side. That could be kind of cool if you didn't want to wear your hair up or, um, you know, just want to do one ear. Kind of regret doing that, <laughs> the hand smear, but uh, you know, do whatever feels right. Um, I think just having blood coming out of everywhere just looks really cool and it's kind of an easy makeup tutorial for Halloween. You just go really smoky, really bruised looking, and then on the lips as well, do the bruising around all, of the, <laughs> all the holes where the blood's coming out of, and then just apply your blood. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my first Halloween tutorial of the year. I thought it was fairly easy, good for beginners, uh, something simple, and you can kind of, if you wanted to do like a zombie look um, and add like it into a different costume, like a zombie bride or, um, you know, pretty much zombie anything, you could just do this look with a costume. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to let me know in the comments other makeup tutorials you want to see for Halloween or in general, and I love you guys very much. See you next time. Bye!